Hey guys, welcome to a map making tutorial. This is for noobs anyway, so uh, let's just get started since this is a raw video, no cutting, whatever. Alright, so in order to get start making map, you need to get the map kit. If you want to get the map kit, go to the toolbox and in here type in FE map. When you do type FE map, click the first one. This is where you can get started making maps. Uh, hello? I didn't click it enough, so let's just click it again. Now, make sure to delete this because this thing's annoying AF. And make sure like thing is set into from technology Foxel into compatibility as that's what FE2 uses. So, FE2 has some mechanics. Let's just ungroup this thing first. So, first of all, we have spawn. This is where the player will spawn. Do not resize this, I swear. Do not make it small like this. Do not. That will kind of break your map. Anyways, let's just get started. So the spawn is where the players will spawn in the map. Then we have buns here which corresponds to these interactives. Each interactive will be triggered with a bun. So let's say bun 1 is pressed. Then this will appear. Then uh, let's say bun 2 is pressed. Then this one will disappear. Then let's say this. This one's get pressed. Then that means this will fall. So it fell. So when you press the button, the thing will fall. You all know basic. So let's just get started. Now making a layout, it's pretty simple. You just make a square room. So uh, make it like not too cluttered. Like make it like 35 studs or something. You know, the good stuff. And yeah. Then uh, you move the spawn. Yeah, put this in the center, I guess. Go in position, and yeah, it should be centered to the room now. Whoops. Uh, let's making keep making the room. When detailing the map, do not touch the toolbox because having free models in your map means your map sucks. All right. Now, most people recommend to make the spawn invisible, but not for now. Let's just make the room. So, uh, we're gonna make this like a hallway here. Then we're gonna do this. Also, another thing to know is, in models, make sure you have this snap to like the 25 increments. Like, 125, 25, 0, 0.25, whatever. Things at the... 0.25 increment so that way it is easier to modify and it's easier to make things perfect all right so we've done the rooms just duplicate a bunch of times by using control D and you should have things ready so while building the gameplay in the room and the detail and stuff do not add the roof first because the roof will be disturbing and if you want to make things fast then don't add a roof. Now let's go in with water. So water here, make sure if you want to make water yourself, it is make sure water is can collide false. Because if it's on, like this for example, you can walk on the water, no joke. And you don't want people to walk on your water. And as crazy blocks tip and service, like put the top a hinge. So we put hinge on the top. So this will, this thing will appear. So what this does is it indicates where the top of the water is because as the water will be meshed. So let's say uh, you rotate it, uh, like you rotate it like this. Then where's the top? Oh, here it is. So the water will be visible here. And you know you don't need to add this, but it's just an indicator. Anyways, let's go back with the water now. So uh, yeah, we have a room, we made things. Now for gameplay, make sure the gameplay is not too long but also not too short. You can keep doing the gameplay by keep copy and pasting and for testing. Go and scroll to start player, then scroll into start character wall speed and changes to 20. So that way, if you jump, you know the estimated length of the jump, so yeah. So let's just make this jump here. Now for water. Yeah, let's just delete the base plate first. Who the heck likes the base plate anyway? So yeah. Now for the water. Yeah, just move it, you know. Just uh, move it. Now, 
Speaking of moving the water, let's go into the scripting part now. This map gets kind of outdated and crazy blocks bring event script back. So what I recommend you do is go to event string, then copy it, then you create a new script here by pressing this and type in script. Then make sure to rename it into event script and now you can delete event string it's we don't need anymore and now paste it so this is everything in the script now the script have some stuff here so we have set water state and move water set water state changes the water into acid lava or water move water will move the water so for move water as most people request it let me show you so but add the script in and in the brackets put the argument so first is where the water is I mean mention the water what water is it next is how much you want to move it in the X Y or Z axis so let's say this moves 30 studs and this is how many seconds does it take to raise the water all the way so if this is the case this water will move by 30 studs in 10 seconds and this here is seeing if it's a world space or a local space so let me show you what I mean by that so let's say uh, you move this let's say this is water you move it like this then when you move it if it's local space then it'll move like this however if it's world space it will move like this see the difference if you want to know how to switch between world space and local space you can press ctrl L pretty simple stuff now for this these are arguments so true is local space false is world space <clears throat> alright so we got that out of the way so let's learn on how to make boxes in order to make a box just a part and make sure it is squared so let's just say uh, we're on the 4x4 block here then you just do whatever you want with the box don't take the toolbox this is the box you can make it like wooden or something let's say this uh, wood and some be for some people add a selection box yeah just add a selection box to the properties and change your journey to the parent and there we go you have your own box alright let's go to the settings this is where you can name your map and stuff so let's say this is map name let's change this map to okay and let's go to TR stuff first creator this is where you type in your name let's say your name is uh, ah wait who is it? nana 2050 there we go let's say your name is nana 2050 and difficulty is what's the difficult of your map so one is easy two is normal three is hard four is insane five is crazy most of you probably want it crazy anyway so just make it five so for map image this is kind of tricky and most people wouldn't guess it so uh, let's go to where you can upload your decals and stuff so this is where you can upload your decals you just go uh, so what you if you want to access this from the roblox side yourself uh, let me wait till my internet actually loads so in roblox you cl click on create then this will come up and click on decals so let's say we have some decals here and you want the de and once you upload the decal you're probably gonna click on the decal and type the ID of the decal but that is not how you do it so let's say you want the decal the image to be this so my internet's really slow anyways do not make it like this so you click on the ID and just paste it in frick so do not make it like you copy the ID from here then paste it to map image this will not make it load as it is the decal ID not the image ID if you want the image ID what you're gonna do is go into here then click on my images in my images wait now this is wh where your decal probably is insert it to a random part 
now you click it and here is the texture this is the ID of your image which will be showed so make sure you put in this make sure you put in uh, this ID instead of the decal ID alright now we got in mind you can delete this now now for BGM it's probably a music so what I recommend if you wanna search BGM do not search in the search here in the Roblox library as the search engine in Roblox sucks even the filter let's just say the filter is worse what you're gonna do is in Google you just type in like roblox.com then find the music you want let's say uh time machine spooky mix then you're gonna find it in google so there yes there you go now you can copy the id of this and put it in the map yeah there you go so yeah so let's go into intro in if you don't know what intro is it's where when the map starts it just push the wall part of the in the wall intro down then move it up for the effect there but i don't use it anyway so it's just ungroup it <laughs> like really who the heck will use that so next we have air tank this is the air tank to don't change the name you can change the color of these but do not rename anything in here except for mass and particles so for this 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 do not rename it or else the, your air tank is broken all right so uh this is exit block so what this does is that it changed the it changed it to can collect through once you survived so let's say uh, you survived the outside now you can get out ha 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 so this is exit region so when you touch it you survive unless yeah and make sh and in order to survive the players have to click all the buttons so if you have like a button hanging around you cannot survive make sure the all the players can click the button and there's a uh, two minute limit so make sure you make your map under two minutes over that your map is clearly impossible so yeah this is a basic map making tutorial form from me now most of you will ask how do you get your map into fe2 map test all right let's just get this around so let's go and select children then deselect camera and terrain or our stuff which is unneeded press ctrl g that'll make it a wall model you can con press ctrl u if you wanna get away again so now right click this and click save to roblox now you'll see this this is where you can create your model now if you wanna update your map click override an existing asset this is where you can update your map now let's say we want to create a model let's just call this uh test this is test and make sure you have allow copying on so crazy blocks can take it but with allow copying on you must verify your email in roblox in order to do that go to roblox settings here now what you want to do here in my account info you go to uh where the heck is it uh, you find email like find email or something security in security uh where the heck is it well oh email address you type in your email here for me i already have mine verified so yeah once you type in your email you'll be sent a verification request all you need to do there is go to your email provider like your email app 
then log into your email as usual. Now this takes forever since my internet sucks, so yeah. I'll probably edit this video in the YouTube editor xd xd xd. So uh, this is email. Now you'll probably get your email in uh, in here, but for me I already verified, so I'm gonna show you what the email looks like. So uh, let's go here. And let me show you what it looks like. So be right back. Alright, so this is what the email looks like. All you need to do is click this link, then yours should be verified. Now you can a lot well, copying. So you click the submit button, then wait till it uploads. What you need to do next is to click on this. This will take you to your model ID. So this is your map ID in the browser here. Copy it. Now go to the FE2 map test game right here. Once you're in the FE2 map test game, this there is a link to the whitelisting place in case you are description blind. But if you are not description blind, congratulations. So now let's click on this. So this will take you to an art game where you can whitelist your FE2 maps. This is some sort of way for efficiency for Crazy Bluffs iPhone 4, I guess, but whatever. Let's just play it to show to demonstrate you on what's going on here. So I'm just gonna go to studio mode and do with game capture here and change it to Roblox. So yeah. Anyways, Roblox still loading because my computer sucks. So yeah. Roblox is not loading for me for some reason, which is kind of weird. My fans are spinning hard. So here we are. Roblox is loading apparently for some reason. Alright, that's kind of a stupid move right there. But, yeah. Now I can show you what's going on there. Without lag, so yeah. Alright, so let's uh, transition. So, this is what the uh, whitelisting place looks like. Pretty uh, simple. Alright, anyways, you type in your map ID here. So here it is, and click manually submit map. Now it says map successfully submitted for whitelisting. Alright, for another thing is that it the place can be full, like the key will be full. So make sure you wait. Or you can get notifications. So you go to the flood escape discord server if you haven't joined yet link is in the description of this video and click on map whitelist updates and what i recommend you to do here is to right click this notifications and all messages so that way you'll get notified every time the, the whitelisting is cleared so yeah so wait until the whitelisting here is cleared then you can whitelist. Now you have to wait. Once you're done, you have to wait until the key is cleared in order to make your play map playable. So yeah, that's a long process, but Crazy Blocks and Nicholas is apparently working on a way to make whitelisting faster. But it's not the case for now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I guess. If you enjoy it, click the like button please, that will be very 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 appreciated. Because I put so many effort totally into creating this video. Because I like a lot, xd xd xd. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as usual. <sighs> Goodbye.